Hello guys, Damaduck82 here. Uh, I have Heisemeister and Lilakari with me once again, and we've also been joined by I am Mark III. Uh, we were about to attack this uh, single ship here, and uh, we got a pretty sizable fleet going against it. Um, I'm going to hop on my light cruiser, and here we go. So we're still waiting on Ion's game to boot up, and after that we will... Uh, get him in. Um, I've done that. My game actually crashed. I've, I've had to force close it and restart. Well, do what you need to do. It's fine. I'll keep kicking it until it complies. If it's crazy, yes, but it works. That's the right encouragement. What, gratuitous physical violence? Yeah, works for me. If it's crazy, but it works, it's not that crazy. This is true. So what was well, those torpedoes were really low. Uh, what but kind of torpedoes are you launching here, little Kari? Uh, they only sink down to about eight meters. Okay. I both those, but the reason why I was saying the really low is because. It was the enemy torpedo, so I just have to watch sail right underneath my destroyer. Good thing they did. Yeah, we are turning this guy no... a new one. Yeah, they were down by like, what, 10, 20 meters? Uh, if there are any low running torpedoes, I think they should be from my ships since I've set them up that way. Uh, the Brecken is dead. Pretty much. You're just... yeah. You just went underneath your destroyer. Uh... No, they were coming from the other way. We coming from the enemy The destroyer. rear guns are still active, though. Don't know how long that's gonna last. Ooh, right in the bottom. Damn it, missed, missed. Are we using heat torpedoes? No. I know Heitzmeister is a bit of a fan of those, but... Just curious. Yeah, we've got this lonely ship here surrounded. Yeah, pretty much boned. Utterly and completely boned. There's the two damaged. Too bad I can't pause this. Alright, pull all, and if you guys wouldn't mind dragging our fleet back to where we need to yep. be, I'd appreciate and it. Save the game. Yes. Good call. Alright, Ian, how are you looking? Um, I've hit the main menu. I'm wondering what that alarm was, though. Was that an episode timer? Yes. Okie dokie. Yeah, that was just my cell phone. Okay, so if we're all good, I'm going to go ahead and return to the lobby. Go ahead. Alright. Uh, so, I am the way that we have been deciding who gets to spawn what in, uh, I've been using oh. a random number generator. And whoever rolls highest on it gets to go first. Planet version out of date. What? Ooh. Um, Did you forget to update the... Uh, Sorry, campaign. Sounds like I might have done. Do we need sorry, to give no. you a few minutes? Yeah, sorry. It's okay. Um, we could just hop back in until you're ready if that's cool with you. Yeah, it's fine with me. Go for it, yeah. Okay. Um, we'll just load back in from where we were. Yeah, random number generator. That worked fine. It, it seemed like the f fairest way to go about it. No, no, I just meant that for some reason I always get got the highest number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're using just high spices equipment. All right. So far, it seems like, yeah. No, actually, no. We've, uh, we've got a few of our 
me and Lil Curry's got a few of our ships in too. Um, we had some medium bombers that were doing extremely well. And uh, then they got intercepted by a, a fleet. And it was no good. Anyway, starting back up. I think, though, those bombers probably did more than their value in damage. So, that's always they good. Yes. Um, by the way, I did spawn in that uh, strategic bomber. Um, did you move it by chance, Ice Master? No, I didn't. I can... I can't start uh, building it, by the way. I don't know where it went, is the thing. We have enough materials. It's near our outpost, or southern outpost, then. Oh, yeah, it's getting materials right now, actually. It's yeah, at 51%. We don't have any more. Oops. Oh, that went poorly. I thought we had more than that. Um, we are having the, the other aging court group is coming come towards us. Yep. Where's the three? Is that? Yeah, it's version 3.5, I think. Uh, version 3 for FTD 3.5? Yes. Okay. Got the right one. We need more materials, like, bad down here. You must build additional pylons. Something like that. We require more Vespine gas. Still more. Yeah. There's still a chance we might be able to drag them into this uh, Italian fleet. Well, I think I've got it this time. Okay. I guess I'll drop another save then. <laughs> I am sorry. So this this shall be the episode forever interrupted by Iron Mark III. No, we'll put this in the blooper reel. Uh, well, Ion, to be fair, so far our strategy has been let the Italians handle it. Mm. They got us a new resource well, zone, so... Two of the time. Yeah. Hey, I'm in. Awesome. Just wait for transfers. Come on, transfers. stuff in there. Yep. Alright, here we go. Um, one thing I would like to say though, um, if I roll on the random number generator, please skip me. You sure? Yeah, um, I wasn't even expecting to be at a recording session today. I thought we were going to be streaming or something. Alright, so running the number generator, I've been uh, Ian will go first, and he gets a two. <laughs> uh, Lokari, he gets a four. Uh, Heitzmeister, he gets a seven. And I get a four. So, yeah, Heitzmeister once again. Come on, Heitzmeister, um, give him the battleship. I, I can't, we don't have enough resources. We could use a, a battleship, though. Oh, I, I wish I had my battle cruiser. It might handle this. That, that, that ship quest. So I'm, uh, I'm falling. I can't, I can't do anything at the moment. Okay, Sorry. so, uh, little Kari got what? A four? Yeah, and I'm also falling because I don't have anything I want to show off. Okay. Um, guess that comes down to me then. Unless he wants a jump copter, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not getting the fight, I don't know how that compares with what everything else is going around. Yeah. I don't think we got enough materials to do anything, honestly. Actually, in two minutes, there's the next council meeting. So we just want to wait that out then, see what happens? Probably. 
it should be noted that the arching court down here to the south is all on its own. It is. Mm hmm. But uh, it'd probably pop our light ships pretty quickly, I'd imagine. Um. I do have those torpedo fitted jump copters. They're like 11k each. Do you want to try loading them in? I don't know how the fights have been going, so I don't know how well a light helicopter will hold up, if I'm going to be honest. But I guess destroyers. Uh, against destroyers, I don't think, I don't know if they'll perform very well because they got a lot of rapid, rapid fire, fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's. But if you so want to use it to it. snipe some of these uh, resource zones, that might be an idea. Yeah. Then Since our medium back. bombers are out for the moment. Uh, which resource zones are you looking at? Uh, it's the one that we have furthest to the south. I'm going to try to put these guys into a fleet here. Uh, looks like Arjun Court might be pulling away. Nope, nope, she's still coming closer. They might Those be able to kite it a bit. Arjun Court, no. Yeah, two Arjun Courts, but we could kite them a bit. Because I believe our fleet is slightly faster. Maybe you ought to take them to the south or north towards the Italians. Oh, no, I was thinking taking towards the, the west because the guys are currently defending here. I'm going to send them north. We may also get an air squad as well. Uh, Italy has a battleship out here, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's the council meeting. So, options, gentlemen. Join the USS war against the HMS and Kirk option. This will give you about 220,000 commodities. Uh, um, depends on if we want to continue to annoy the British. I'm not seeing any options to do just the British, though. Oh, there's one. Join KUK in a war against HMS. I thought RN was uh, the Royal oh. Navy. It's uh, it's something. It's the uh, Hungarian Empire versus the UK. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. British Empire is HMS. I, f I thought I could look at these uh, at the top. Okay, so the RN is Italy. Yeah, so. RN is Italy. So do we want to keep pounding on the British? Or do we want to switch targets here? Uh, it I'm, really depends. I'm tempted to do this first one because... Um, that's a lot of commodities that we could use, and we would still remain at war with the British. And we are yeah. very start for materials yeah. right now. Um, oh. Actually, hold on, hold on. KUK in a war against RN. That's... Okay, yeah, never mind. We'll, we'll go with the top option unless you guys have a better suggestion. I have one. Yes. Lead the war against KUK. KUK oh. against RN. No, lead a war against KUK. This means that uh, we on our own again. Although, I think this might be a bad idea. Who's KUK? The Austro-Hungarians. Yeah. Um, you guys have we started lure next to us. That would be a lot of fleets that we'd have to shift around, but it would give us some breathing room against the British. Or will we still be at war with them? 
the KUK is considered to be the weakest faction. Yeah, but I'm not entirely sure how this works in a... No, the we British wouldn't would be at, at war with the those. British. We would still be at war with the British. No, we wouldn't be. Okay, so if we take that one, then we could curb stomp the Austro-Hungarians and then move against someone else? Is that what we're suggesting here? If we want to do so, yes. Because then we could take all their land and have their resource zones for the next council meeting. I think I can get behind that. What do you guys say? Yeah, I'm thinking that as well. I am? Lead on. Okay. That is the option that we will take. And we should probably use those commodities. Oh! Now the British have chosen a side. They are now at war with the Empire of Japan. Well, they're welcome to them. There ain't no rest for the British. Yeah, we might want to pull our She-Wolves back, though. Um, yeah. I'm going to bring them over to Austria-Hungary here. So... Yeah. Um, I'm also stopping all resupply to the south now. Okay. Uh, still waiting on the strategic bomber to finish. Actually, I'm adjusting our logistics network to have the resources from the south go to the north. It's probably wise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so KUK. Well, according to J Dog, they should be weak against aircraft. So, do we want to bring in aircraft then? Sure. Sure. Uh, whose turn is it? Have we decided? Or do we need to re roll? Or what, what do we want to do here? Because I got some planes that I think would probably do good for this, but. I want to get with you guys first. I do only have fighter planes. I have a fighter bomber. I mean, or two. Use a strategic bomber. Let's see how it does. You want to use a strategic bomber? Okay. Uh, but uh, her, who's spawning in what next, though? Uh, is Are we still waiting for Heizmeister to come up with something, or... Did we pass it, or what do we want to do with that? Um, Where do we want to send these resources? Or down south? I'm sending the resources up north once we have built everything in the south we wanted to build. Okay. Uh, looks like... Uh, the bomber's done. Yeah, one bomber is done. All the bombers got done. Two bombers are done. Strategic Bomber, we'll go ahead and add that guy to the fleet. Uh, Alright. I will put them into a fleet and we'll go bomb the bejesus out of the Austro-Hungarians. Go ahead. Uh, who are we allied with on this? With no one. Okay, so this is just all us. Yeah. Okay. Although, I should mention that, meanwhile, the British are waging a war against the Japanese. Yeah, someone's going to come out much stronger from that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Do we have She-Wolves going towards... Uh, yeah, we do, okay. Okay, logistics... Logistic route has been set up. And we are harvesting materials as well. Uh, I'm going to take this she-wolf down here in the south and I'm going to move it up towards the north. Okay. So, who wants to spawn in something? Or should we re-roll now that we have these 200,000 commodities sitting around? Yeah. Um, I'm fine with the re-roll. Ian Lokari, you fine with the reroll? Yeah, I'm fine with the reroll. Okay. Yeah, sure. So Ian will go first. He gets one. Even better than before. Uh Lokari's next. And he gets a four. 
and Heistmeister gets a two, and I get ah. an eight. Yes. Yes. Your lucky streak has ended. Finally. Finally. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe. Hmm. Do we want to just go air power, air power, air power? Uh, they do have some battleships, though. Depending on the strength of your strategic bomber. Yeah, but I'd like to bring in some fighter bombers, actually. Oh. Yes. Um, potential problem, though, I don't remember if they are using... Um, thumper rockets or guided missiles, so we might want to check on that. Uh, the Death Harmonic Mark II. I'll bring in two of those. And if you... Uh, who uh, who got the next highest number? Anyone remember? I think it was me. So do you want to bring anything in, then, little Kari? It, yeah, I'll bring in my some of my PD boats. Okay. Uh, I need to spawn in one of those planes once they're finished to make sure that their weapons are set up correctly. Are bombers still heading in that direction? Looks like it. Okay. These fighter bombers, they have a ton of... Uh, rockets and they have like eight grenade launchers and two auto cannons. The grenade launchers use uh, PESH by the way in case anyone was wondering. Alright let me spawn one in. No 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 you just stay right there mister. Uh, yeah these are radar guided so I'm gonna have to go with thumper heads and I'm going to change the local weapon controller if I can find it I believe it's this guy here uh, we want these firing at I think 500 meters probably good And I'll save over the top of it. And we will pull all. And hop onto this other one. We will update it to that version. I guess it won't let me. Oh, we can go to times four, by the way. Uh, one moment. The map is doing some weird shit. What'd you say, Lokari? Never mind. I figured out the problem. There we go. What problem was it? I was trying to figure out why my some of my ships weren't repairing. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to need a bit of those materials for my planes. You guys can share. Actually, let's have them take as much as they can. There we go. Um, Bama? Yes? If we do have the resources... Uh, actually, scratch that. Uh, I, I take it back. I was uh, thinking about building another strategic bomber, but we might not need one so soon. I don't think so. We should make sure that our fleets are supplied. Oh, that's a nice little torpedo boat. Uh, none of these bombers seem to want to share resources. Do they need to be in the same fleet to do this? No, they need to be close. 
Okay. We're gonna go bomb the hell out of this right here. Actually, we can nail about everything in this immediate area, I think. They are not sharing resources because their resource uh, distribution zones don't overlap. Uh, okay. So they need to be a hell of a lot closer. Yeah, or have more material storage, that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. That fixes it. Those little uh, oh. rings, right? I should probably mention there are some uh, fortifications there. I saw. Uh, there's a coal mine, house, house, bunker, barracks, bunker. Uh, I'm sending a giant, a long range cargo plane, with them to pick up any resources. Probably wise. Does anyone want to hop in a plane? Uh. I'm going in the strategic bomber. Uh, here. Okay, and let's do it. So I'm on cue flight of the Valkyries. Actually, I'm going oh, with the oh, other oh. bombers because I can't jump out. Where's it going? Are those medium missiles or small? Those are medium. Oh, okay. I don't think these flat guns are going to do much. They're like, uh, I think, 104s? Um, yeah, but I don't think they're, they're actually flak. They are coastal defenses against ships. Yeah. It I've just happened to be able to shoot at aircraft. Yeah, I kind of forgot that uh, I didn't hide the custom jet engines for this bomber. Uh, have you guys seen the building they've got defending the resource there? It's gone. Yeah. Um, no, it's still there. There's a house at the bottom of the ocean. Waterfront property. Very waterfront. A distinct Atlantean themed view. Yeah. This is. <laughs> I take it the uh, medium bombers performing to everyone's expectations? They are yeah. performing well. For some reason, these bombs are. Working. I think they might have been dropped a little too far out. Yeah, they're bouncing along the terrain to reach their target, so some of them are getting that. Yeah. Um. I just don't think I had the local weapon controller configured for targets that are actually sitting up above sea level. I think is what's going on. Yeah, that might be it. You could do that now. Coastal defense batteries have all been disarmed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> mm, there goes you that are. building. I love bombers. Actually, you know, I think J Dog may, might have missed a trick with this um, building in the resource zone. Oh, what's that? You could have made it a pineapple. Hmm. Oh. Under the sea? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and what yeah. is this what is this place called? Please tell me it's Bikini Bottom. Oh. It's unnamed. Maybe J Log will be amenable to adding a new name to it in the next version. I don't know if we're dropping any more bombs here. It's um, called the Habsburg Oh, there we go. So basically a bunch of inbred nonsense. Uh, that's one out captured. That's close, yes.
Well, Ari, have you been doing a little oh, running gun down there? Yep. Okay. Oh, that was captured. All right. Uh, we just l destroyed another facility here. I went towards one of the bunkers, and then it's suddenly being bombed out of existence, so I decided not to go in there. Probably wise. Honestly, um, I think we might be able to pull everything, and uh, we'd be all good. Uh, Except for the else. the one that's under the water, of course. Yeah, yeah someone needs to... Uh, I'm already there, playing but... on it. Just need to figure out where it was. It's like directly in the... In, uh, under the circle. Oh. Thanks, Bomber. Could have turned them off. No, the bomber reattached me. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to turn them off so we don't waste a bunch of resources trying to bomb something that's underwater. That house is apparently dying. Oh, I see. The old car is killing it. Yep. With gusto, it would seem. No, our premium beachfront property. Well. Now that we have liberated the coast. I think we should bring our bombers back into our territory, get them repaired up, and send them up against the next uh, target. Or we could send the Death Harmonics in to do that. Yeah, I was just thinking about capturing some, some tiles so that we get closer to the enemy. That's probably a good idea if you want to go ahead and start on that. What are the PT-57s? My little ships. Okay. Oh, by the way, we can go to higher speed now. Alright. We don't want to do ludicrous speed yet? No. Okay. I don't think so. We didn't give the British a proper thrashing though, it seems. We can get more bombers. I'd like to do a few more raids. Alright. I don't know if those planes have any repair capacity. The uh, rest in peace and the strategic bomber. Anyway, Death Harmonics, they're in position. Oh, that, that should be fun. Yeah, should they're my biplane. The should we just capture the mine depot? Well, what do you guys say? If you want to go for it, go for it. Okay. But you know, the bombers are still there. Yeah, I'll turn off their weapons for now, though. Oh, no need for that. Let's see what's faster. <laughs> oh, let's see. You like it? Yeah. I thought the stripes made it look pretty cool. Well, they are my fleet cutters, so... Yeah, a lot of people say I'm copying your fleet colors, actually. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. Uh, so are we capturing this thing? How much is it worth? 12k? We have a commando on the way. Now that's a game I haven't heard of in forever. Anyone... Uh, uh, Command and Conquer Renegade. Hmm. That game was there so is awesome. A... Isn't there a free version of that nowadays? I don't know, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. Multiplayer was pretty good. Seems to call it's been a remake. Done oh, like there's the AI. Well, oh, that was quick. Hey, first, right behind the box I first destroyed. Uh, let's see if we can move a uh, satellite into place so we can see what our next target is. I'm copying one. 
I still think it might be a good idea to get one of my blimps operational because they move a hell of a lot faster than them satellites. Satellites only yeah. do about 24 meters a second. And they uh, they sh they fit more with the theme of this campaign. Yes. Um, would you guys be okay if I spawned one in? Go ahead. Sure. Okay. Oh, uh, Zikari, can we get your PT boats to the front? I would love to, but one, two of them are currently not, well, being built whatsoever. Uh, let's see here. I think I have these in Dominion of Dama. I have this no clue. Bugged out. Yeah, for some reason I also can't uh, pull them. Oh, okay. Now here we go, spy balloon. It's a little less than 16k. Oh, that's about this, uh, been built. Paul. Well, we have a resource on an enemy territory. Now that's supplying us with. Yeah, I think that was the plan all along. Oh, I see. And we can increase speed properly. Yes. This is going okay. And Spy Balloon is on its way. She's all done? Yep. Okay, how fast does it go? I can't quite remember. 65 meters per second. Oh, that's a lot better. Hell of a lot better. Uh, we're moving the she wolves into position. Uh, we got a satellite not too far from... The front here, I'm gonna move it forward. Uh, I see some kind of a settlement over here. Do you want to bomb the bejesus out of this too? Well, it'll take a while until our ships have arrived. Yeah. Uh, I say we send the death harmonics to take it out. Do you think that they are sufficient to do this? This could take quite a while. They got a lot of rockets. Okay. I was actually working on a uh, APS fighter, uh, just as uh, you got into chat with me earlier, Heitzmeister. It was uh, gonna just like spray a bunch of bullets with um, rail guns. Is going to be one of those blasters. Ooh, we found a juicier target, gentlemen. Yes, we, we did. Mining depot. Yes. Moving out. Are we going to try to take it, or do we want to just deny it to the enemy? I actually see two juicy targets approaching us. Ah, there's the first of fleet. The SMS Radetzky. And the SMS Admiral Spau. Okay. They're kind of slow, honestly. Which I'm fine with this. Uh, so, do we want to go ahead and take out this these resource zones down here? Or? Sure. Our fleet is still some uh, somewhere out there. Okay. Everybody ready? Yep. I'm gonna hop into this other one here and make sure that the weapons are turned on, please. Oh, you think okay, the fast. Yeah. You think the rockets are sufficient, Heitzmeister? 
Yes. Good. Definitely. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can uh, get uh, this settlement over here as well. Is there some trepidation there? No, no. Let's let's do it. Okay. Because the Austro-Hungarians are now sending their ships against us. I know, right? They, they are slow, yes, but they will arrive eventually. Oof. Yeah, that. I did take a little bit of damage there. Just be aware that we cannot repair anything. Yeah, if it gets to Harry, we'll pull out. Uh, my oh, plane looks a little... Mortars! Cram mortars? APS mortars. Uh, okay, I thought that was gonna dive into the ground. Might as well focus on the direct fire guns first. That's probably a good idea, honestly. Yeah. What kind of rockets are those? I uh, thumper frag. Oh, small, small thumper frag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll chew through armor pretty good. Uh, they probably need um, short-range thrusters, though, if we want to get more oomph at them. I don't know what the hell happened with those missiles there, but they just kind of disappeared into the terrain. It happens. And it looks like they're having a, a hard time trying to hit the planes, though, so that's good. Not seeing any more missiles or rockets. I think Lokari might have captured some buildings here. I accident, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's pull them out. Through. I just captured a building and then all of the enemy mortar positions started shelling it. <laughs> Uh, you go for the left one, I'll go for the right one. Right. Um, where's the AI in these things? Good question. We're in the most well armored piece part. Uh, maybe like these little bunkers in the side here. I'm not seeing any AIs in those though. No, oh, that's ammo! That's ammo! Oh, so it is. Oh, no, I've, I've captured it's it. It's a shame that a APS mortars aren't a thing. There's so many ap applications for this. So what do you guys think of the death harmonics? Very neat. Does pack a bunch? The, uh, AI? Yeah. Hi, they were intended yeah, for a run on the main tower. Ashes. There it is. Uh, some of these are actually killing themselves because they're firing straight up. Yeah. Um, no, they were attacking each other as we captured them, so... Oh, okay. Where's the AI again? Oh, that's what... That, that one... That middle one, that's been captured. I think after this we might want to bring the death harmonics back to repair. Uh, I guess we'll only have this... One bunker here left, okay. Uh, they're, the one at the far end seems like it's still up and running. There needs to be a sprint button. Yes. Oh, yeah, I've... Three meters a second's kind of garbage, honestly. Oh, oh, they took out the AI instantly. Nice. Okay. I don't know if they'll get to it in time, though, before... Yeah, it... Okay. Very good, gentlemen. I use that term lightly. 
the very good part or the gentleman part? Yes. I'm glad we could clear that up. Uh, do we want to send out a vehicle to pick up all this crap? Yep, already on its way. Nice. It's about th just over 30k materials there. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, I think we need to restart because the two PT boats I spawned earlier, well, supposed to be three, aren't the spawning in. Where are they at right now? Right next. Just, well, I noticed one of them was uh, correctly spawned in, so I sent one to capture. Uh, they both look like they're in capture zones right now, actually. Yeah, they both are. Um, does any one of you have something that is a little bit more expensive? No. What kind of price range were you thinking? More than 200,000 materials. I do have something. Because there's a delivery incoming. Um, how about I get my battle cruiser for uh, the um, Kingdom of Windsor from Dominion of Dama? It's about 300k give or take? Or is that too much? Uh, we'll see how the random number generator <laughs> rolls. Okay, okay. Uh, look, Hari, I can try sending out your torpedo boat if you want. Yeah, it seems to be responding to me. Where would you like it? Uh, towards the front lines. I will put it a little bit south of that uh, mining depot that you captured earlier, if that's okay. Alright. Okay, so do we want to do the random number generator again? Or should we save first and restart the server to get the PT boats working? I'm fine either way. I'd, I'd okay. say save and restart is more important because it's a multiplayer stability thing. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, saving right now. Are you guys at a good point for me to restart? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me see how much time I have left on the timer here. Yeah, there's about 12 minutes. That's uh, that'd be more than enough, I think. Uh, return to lobby. Anyone need to do anything real quick before I start it back up? Nope. No. Okay. This has been pretty fun so far. Bugs excluded, of course. It's FTD, what do you expect? Uh, it's waiting for transfers to finish. I thought it was already done with this crap. Okay, let's see where we're at. The Death Harmonics are coming back. Actually, they might want to do a little detour here because the Giant has repair cap capabilities. Okay. Yeah, and I was just trying to send them back into our territory to repair. There is a PT boat already capturing a tile. Yep. Grouping to intercept cluster. Moving to cluster to intercept. Oh, and meanwhile the Japanese and the British are going at it. Mm, yeah, they can beat their so stupid against each other. That's perfectly fine with us, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I see. Some of these ships have repair boats. No shit. Hmm. That makes things more interesting. Uh, spot another land target. Nope, that's a ship. Yeah. Is it just that slow? It's 23 yeah. meters a second, so fairly slow, yes. Uh, judging by the cost, it'd probably go down pretty easily. Pro like 30 some odd K, probably a torpedo boat, be my guess. 
Death harmonics are repaired, by the way. Awesome. Uh, should we take it after this, uh, whatever the, this Tartra is? Or do we want to go could, after something else? Could wait until we have captured a few more tiles. Your call, yeah. Demo. Uh... Hmm. Oh, Ion, what do you think? Yes. What would you... Is there anything you'd like to suggest, Ion? Um... Not especially, if I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Kill the fire? Sounds good enough to me. Uh, it's a good old standby, though, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'll use the death harmonics to see if I can't take out this light ship here. And uh, after they knock that out, we'll just see if they got anything else that would be a target of opportunity. Um... Heitzmeister, uh, have you set up a uh, a cargo network for that recently acquired mining depot? Not yet. Okay. I will do so in just a moment. Okay. Just want to make sure someone's on top of it. It's appreciated. Uh, should, we s should we send these resources back to our main base? Actually, maybe we... Maybe we leave them there and we bring everything to that one because it'd be closer to oh. the front. Should we establish a forward outpost? I think yes. Okay. Yeah, forward outpost. Uh, is everyone okay with me speeding things up? Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the ship you're going for, is it the uh, Admiral's Spawn? No, 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 no. It's uh, down in the south. Ah. So I'm just sending this to go after light ships. Yeah, I was going to say, the Admiral's Spawn is um, a bit costly for a light ship. Yes. You may want to send a attack for the Northern Admiral Spawn as well. Uh, I imagine our bombers might be able to take that out. With ease. Alright. Oh. These might need a resupply, by the way. Fairly soon. I think they're about... Uh, Dami, you have control of the guns on it? Thank you for letting me know. No worries. Mm -hmm. So this is the SMS Tatra. Looks like a... Yeah, that's like a light cruiser almost. No, no, that's a... a uh, what would you guys classify that as? That's a destroyer. The yeah. Dreadnought era destroyer? Probably. Yeah, I mean, it's got a couple of torpedo tubes on it, but it's mostly just got light cannons. And it's very long and narrow. <laughs> Hmm. Also, it doesn't seem to have much by way of actual armor. And no significant amount of anti air. The thing yeah, my PD boats will be able to take care of this. Good. Yeah, let's give him some action then. So, thoughts on finest hours so far, guys? Interesting. Loving it. Especially since the Italians helped. Actually, the AI is working so well. That's what. Uh, I think one of the fighter bombers got nailed. I saw some blocks drop off. Yep. That four inch seems to tag it every now and then. I'd be curious to see what kind of shells it uses, though. Probably pure HE or something like that. You know, I think we might be in the market for a torpedo bomber. What do you guys think? Yeah, I was just thinking of that. Well, once the delivery of 200,000 resources comes in, we can do a another random number generator roll. Okay.
How much health does this thing have left, by the way? 59%? A few more strafing runs ought to do it then. It's starting to rain. Yes, it is. Bullets! Mm hmm. <laughs> I'd call it dead. Yep, there it goes. Alright, we're gonna pull. Uh, we need to do something to uh, get rid of the Admiral's spawn. Otherwise, this thing is going to tear through our mining depots. I think we should send the medium bombers and the strategic bomber to take that out. Before we do that, I'm going to send the giant to take over the capturing duties. Okay. Um, could we get some repairs on one of the bombers, please? On it? I'm Th on it. Okay. The giant also has repair capabilities. Um, the giant is out of materials. I know. They can use the materials on the plane. It's a cargo plane, but it's going to resupply some first. I'm pulling back my PT boats so they can actually regroup. Looks like Germany's expanded a bit itself. Hmm. Oh yeah. And Italy has almost pulled out the last forces from our territory. Nobody likes it when they have to pull out. There it is. <laughs> There's Dama. Uh, are we going to be able to get those bombers in place in time? The PD boats, most definitely not. Also, bombers? yes. Uh, I think we need more she wolves. The bombers are fast, and worst case, the mining depot has to hold out, blockade for some time. Good point. And there's our wanderer. The wanderer, yeah, I'm the wanderer. I go round and round and round and round. Don't know that one. Look, Harry might. Yeah, I would think Look, Harry would know that one. Yeah, but then it was what? I think it was used for the Outer World Failure. That reminds me, have you guys spoke to Norm here at, lately? I know he did a Let's Play, that made me think of him for a moment. No. Hi, congratulations, our bombers just got repaired. Alright, sending them to intercept that ship. Uh, can you give the uh, Death Harmonics a heal on the way back? Yep. And then I'll send the remaining resources to our main fleet. I Probably think. a good idea. Or maybe use them to build a little mine. Uh, because actually, the SMS yeah. Navara has altered course and it's now heading towards the position of our fleet. I think our, these bombers will do a pretty good amount of damage to them, though. And it's only like, what, 200k warship? No. It's even less than that. It's like 870, yeah, 87,000. There's a, a 300k warship coming in. Oh. 
Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to save that for next time, gentlemen. Yeah. All right. Well, if you like what you've seen here today, it. please let us know with a like, comment, or even better, subscription. You guys have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your mind high. Later.